Hi everyone! Today, I will teach you how to make this learning material in PowerPoint. This material is not only for teachers but for students as well. Pwede rin ito gamitin in your discussion. You may ask your students to go in front to choose their answer or kung student ka naman, kapag may reporting ka sa school, pwede mo ito gamitin as assessment. So, dito, pipili yung students nyo ng kanilang sagot. Kung mali yung option nila, lalabas yung X mark and check mark naman kung tama. Ang maganda dito sa material na ito ay hindi makapag-proceed si student sa next slide until he gets the correct answer at may lalabas na next button. Then, click lang yon and nasa next slide na. Maganda rin dito sa klase kasi nagiging excited yung mga bata at sumagot at pumunta sa harap para pumili ng sagot nila. Kumuha ako ng sample dun sa ISIM na ginawa ko or Interactive Strategic Intervention Material na nilaban ko noong January 24, 2020. And glory to God, nanalo ang entry natin. Without further ado, let's start! First step, choose a blank slide under home tab. Pili tayo ng background. So, meron na akong nakaredy na background. I got this from makeagif.com. Ayan, di naman ako magaling sa pag-design. So, it's up to you kung anong design ang gagamitin nyo. Next step naman yung design para dun sa question natin. Again, it's up to you what kind of design you will put in your material. Yung tema ko kasi dito parang Pirates of the Caribbean. So, nilagay natin ito sa gitna. So, go to Format tab, then click this icon. Then, choose Align Center. Then, kuha tayo ng rectangle shape. So, go to Insert Tab, Shapes, piliin natin itong rectangle. Ilagay din natin ito sa gitna. So, click Format, Align Center. Shape Outline natin is black. Shape Fill para sa color ng box. So, let's choose white. Click Shape Outline. Click Weight. Let's try this 4.5. Next naman, gagawin natin one image itong rectangle. And yung design natin na wood. Kasi may hirapan tayong mag-edit kapag magkahiwalay sila. Place muna natin sa center. Long press control button Then click nyo yung dalawang image natin Make sure na na-highlight yung dalawang image Release nyo na yung control button Then press control G Para mag-group sila May another option pa kayo Long press nyo ulit yung control button Click nyo ulit yung dalawang image Then right click Tapos click nyo yung group Next, yung text box under insert tab. Dito natin ita-type yung question. Ako kasi may naka-prepare na ako so kakapi ko lang to. Gawin natin aerial block. Then yung font size natin 40. Next step, i-group natin yung text box dun sa image. 
So, same process lang gagawin natin. This time, papakita ko sa inyo yung second option na sinasabi ko kanina. Long press, control button, then click the text box and the image. Right click, tapos group. Ayan na. Next, yung choices naman. Same process lang yung gagawin natin. Insert natin yung image, then yung shape. Tapos, i-group. Then, to create copies of this image, Press Ctrl D. Insert text box. Tapos i-type na yung pangalan. Or yung word na ilalagay nyo. Para naman sa font size, kayo nang bahala basta mababasa yung mga pangalan. Then, i-group nyo na. Okay, lalagyan na natin ng animations. Para sa question, gawin natin fade. Dito sa start animation, choose with previous. Yung duration para medyo matagal, 0.75. Para sa options naman, let's choose float in. Tapos may effect options, dito pipiliin natin float down. Then sa start animation, let's choose after previous. The rest of the letters naman, same process lang din. But this time, yung start effect natin dapat with previews para magsabay sila ni letter A. Para sa checkmark, nag-download lang ako from internet. Paste natin dito sa letter B kasi ito yung tamang sagot. Animation is fade. So dito, ang gusto natin mangyari, kapag pinindot natin yung letter B, dapat lalabas itong check. Para mangyari yun, gagamitin natin itong trigger. But before that, Click natin itong animation pane. If you can see, we have different group or picture numbers. Yung mga group numbers na yan, ayan yung ginroup natin kanina. Malalaman natin sa animation pane kung anong number ng image kapag kinlik natin ito. Yung check mark natin is picture 33. Tapos, yung letter B natin is group 24. Click niyo yung check image. Click trigger. On click off. Group 24. Ibig sabihin, mag-trigger yung effect ng animation natin sa checkmark kapag naklik yung selected image natin. Para naman sa X mark, same process lang din. Animation is fade. Check nyo sa animation pane yung number ng X mark nyo. This time, picture 34 siya. Click trigger, click of group 22, kasi yung letter A natin is group 22. Try natin. Sa 
So, yung process lang din para dun sa natitirang letters. Dito sa PowerPoint, kapag in-click natin yung background or pinindot natin yung arrow keys sa keyboard, napupunta siya sa next slide. So, si student, pwede siyang mag-skip. Kung gagamitin nyo itong iSIM, pwede hindi na nila sagutan yung question. So, ang gagawin natin, we will disable the arrow keys and the mouse click to prevent them from skipping the slide. Click slide show tab, then Click set up slideshow. Choose browse at a kiosk full screen. Ayan, kahit mag-click sila sa background and pindutin yung arrow keys, hindi sila makakaskip sa slide. Damn! Next step, we will create a next button. Insert, Shapes, Shape Fill, White, Shape Outline, Black, Weight, piliin natin tong 3. Type natin yung word na next. Tapos, gagawin natin kapag kinlik itong next button, malilipat sa next slide. Click Insert tab, choose Action. Under mouse click, click natin itong hyperlink. Then, choose Next Slide. May other choices naman dito sa drop down arrow. Kung gusto nyo may sound, Check nyo lang itong play sound. Tapos pili na lang kayo kung anong sound gusto nyo. Then, check natin itong highlight click para ma-highlight kapag nakatapat yung cursor. Subukan natin. Lagyan natin ang back button sa next slide. Same process lang din. Ang gagawin nyo, but this time, pipiliin nyo naman sa hyperlink is yung previous slide. Wow! Siyempre, dapat lalabas lang itong next button kapag tama yung sagot nila. They can't skip this slide without getting the correct answer. First step, lagyan natin ng animation. Fly in, effect options, tapos from top. Click natin yung animation pane. Yung next button natin is oval 4. Yung correct answer natin is group 24. Kapag kinlik ito, lalabas yung next button. Click natin tong next button. Trigger, on click, group 24. So yung start effect natin is with previews. Okay, subukan natin.
I hope you would love this video. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel dahil every week maglalabas tayo ng bagong video. If you want to get a copy of this, subscribe and comment your email ad below. Thank you nga pala sa mga positive comments sa trailer na ginawa ko. Medyo nagka-practice pa ako mag-edit. Pero malaking shoutout sa inyo guys. Maraming salamat!